Hey, this is Kyle from Narrative. As part of our workflow series, we're going to be starting to talk about data backup. It's one of the more boring parts of the process of the workflow, but in my opinion, one of the most important things to focus on in an effort to save your data, have access to older images, and be able to archive things in a way that's safe and secure for both yourself and your clients. The structure we're going to talk about today is not the only method for data backup, but it's the one that I recommend and the one that I've been using for years that's worked for me on a week-to-week -week basis of shooting weddings while traveling and being at home. There's quite a few options out there in terms of products and services and hard drives to be using for this type of data backup. I absolutely recommend doing some research onto the products and services and alternatives that I'm going to mention today to find out which one fits your business and your workflow the best. The approach that I like to take for data backup is as simple and foolproof as possible. I want to come home, drop my cards, ingest them into Select or Lightroom, let everything else back up from there on its own. I'm utilizing continuous backup, cloud storage, and a directly connected external RAID hard drive. Let's look at this in a flowchart from a high level overview and we'll dive into each one individually. I ingest my cards into my computer using select and those images are stored in their raw format onto a locally attached hard drive in a RAID 5 array. That entire drive system along with my entire laptop is saved continuously via Backblaze into an offsite cloud. My Lightroom catalog along with smart previews is saved to Dropbox. At the end of the calendar year, I take all of my edited RAWs, my catalog, create a new catalog, and push those to another external RAID 1 hard drive and remove those from my working system. When I'm thinking about data backup solutions, I'm trying to think of ways that things could go wrong and how I can fix that. So let's create a scenario where I'm traveling, I've lost my laptop, or it's been stolen, and something awful simultaneously has happened at my home where there's been a house fire or a power surge, and something has caused damage to my original hard drive. Within that afternoon or that day, I could easily get on another person's laptop or a new laptop, log into Dropbox, have access to my Lightroom catalog and my smart preview files, as well as log into Backblaze and have access to my original raw images. Very quickly, I can be back up and running into, into a similar position that I was before with my editing workflow. There's a few different solutions to think about when managing an external hard drive connected to your system. The option that I choose is a brand called Promise, and I have a four bay system set in a RAID 5 format. The RAID 5 allows one drive to fail while still maintaining data. A RAID 6, which is often more expensive, allows two drives to fail and maintain data throughout the rest. Some of the solutions to this are a NAS, something that's connected to your network and lets you access it remotely. That doesn't really affect my system, so it's not something I've chosen to do. I just want something that's directly connected. Options within this are Synology, Drobo, Promise, QNAP, and a few others out there to do your research on that works best for you. When looking for a continuous data backup solution, I was looking for something that's gonna handle a few thousand images every week over week. I initially tried to use CrashPlan, but it could never keep up with the cup of data that I was throwing at it. So I used Backblaze. There's a few different options out there. There's Backblaze, CrashPlan, iDrive. There's quite a few out there. They're all about five to $10 a month. This is the system that I use to manage my overall data backup. It's handling all of my raw files from my external drive, as well as all of the content on my computer. Let's jump in now and see what this actually all looks like in my real day-to-day -day use. Let's look at how I organize my Lightroom catalogs. I have my Promise RAID storage, which is holding all of my RAWs, broken down by year, and then whether or not it's been delivered or in progress. All of my shoots are labeled mostly just by their date of shoot. At the end of the calendar year, I'll go in and I'll synchronize the folder and I'll re-import all of the unedited, undelivered RAWs, and I'll remove them from my hard drive system. I'm only saving edited, delivered images year over year. Once I've gone through and I've synchronized each photo shoot and removed all of my undelivered RAWs, I'll then take the entirety of the year and export it as a catalog. Then this will get saved to a RAID 1 hard drive that'll get stored on a shelf in my studio. The beauty of this smart preview system is how small the Lightroom catalog gets. This catalog is a little under 96,000 images, and I can see that my smart previews file is only 76 gigabytes. This is such a small size to have and have access to reap the benefit of having access to my entire year and sometimes multi years worth of catalogs at any given moment to go into while I'm traveling, want to post to social media, share for features, share for blogs, and so on. I think data backup is one of the more mundane and boring parts of being a photographer of any kind, but it's really one of the more important ones. To be able to look back five years and look at a gallery and see how my style has changed, or be able to go back and grab an image for a client whose family member may have passed away. To know exactly where those files are is such an extremely valuable tool that I've used over the years so many times. As I said at the beginning of this video, 
this is not the only way to do this data backup solution. This has just been the way that I've chosen years ago to maintain consistency throughout my work. Having the peace of mind and knowing that as soon as I begin to ingest cards, the Backblaze is continuously backing up my entire system, Dropbox is backing up my catalog, and I have access to all of this really quickly whether or not something terrible were to happen to my computer or my on-site storage. As a couple of other things to note, this entire storage system is how I also manage things on the go with an external solid state hard drive. I have the exact same file structure and storage that I do for my Promise RAID tower. I just move things over when I get home at my desk. If this solution is something similar that you use or you found an improvement along the way, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Thanks for watching and I look forward to talking more in our workflow series. Something I wanted to add to the end of this video to think about is your initial investment and your year over year cost. My initial investment for a system that I use is about twelve or $1,300 for the Pegasus R6. My year over year cost that I want to consider is my monthly charge for Backblaze, Dropbox, and my external RAID 1 mirrored hard drive enclosure. That brings things to somewhere between an initial startup of twelve or $1,300 and a year over year of about three to $500. These are things to consider as well when you're looking at an overall plan and structuring things for your own business budget year over year as your wedding season comes to a close.